Hola, bueno. Hello, this is Aaron with Internet Computers from AnetComputers.com. Today's video deals with a locked BIOS, system BIOS, no bueno, muy mal. Those can be tragic arrangements, <laughs> tragic instances in life, but sometimes you can unlock a BIOS. This one deals with a Toshiba laptop, more specifically model number P. SAA5U. So if you have a Dell or an HP or Asus, these instructions probably are not that helpful, although maybe as a generalization, they might help you to try to think of a way to unlock your BIOS. Or they won't be verbatim, They, but there are other ways to unlock BIOS passwords on HP, Asus, Dell, IBM, Lenovo, etc. But they're not verbatim. It's not the exact same procedure. So BIOS locked. How to unlock the BIOS on your Toshiba laptop. How to unlock a BIOS on a Toshiba laptop. Right after you hit a power button on your laptop, press an F2 key. This should make that computer enter a BIOS. If not, Try pressing an escape key while powering on that laptop, then hit an F1 key. Once in a BIOS, look for a menu called Security or Advanced. In this correct menu, look for a supervisor or security password. So that's a quick, easy way to change your password. But let's say you forgot your BIOS password or let's say you have your Toshiba laptop set up so that you have to enter in your BIOS password. You know, when you, as soon as you power on your Toshiba laptop, it'll automatically prompt you for a password similar to this graphic th down here. Similar, but maybe not the exact same. Depends on your Toshiba laptop. Or let's say you bought it. You bought it used off of Craigslist or eBay or from a friend and they didn't tell you that there's a password. Well, a lot of times you're SOL. You are out of luck. Sometimes you're not. It just depends. So continuing on with this. There will be an option to disable that password. If you are prompted for a BIOS password after attempting those keystrokes above, Let's say you tried, you went through the pr previous instructions, security, advanced, supervisor, security password, and then try to disable it. Then try power cycling that computer and pressing a left shift key as that computer is powering on. So what I mean by that is if you try to disable that password and it still prompts you for a BIOS password, well... Either you have to know the password or you continue on with my blog post from anetcomputers.com. So press the left shift key as that computer is powering on. This should bypass a BIOS password prompt, hopefully, but it might not. So what I'm getting at is I'm trying to help you get past a BIOS password. Sometimes, not with all Toshiba's, and not with all computers. Sometimes there's certain ways you can get around it. Maybe you can disable the BIOS password, but most times it asks you for the original password. But not always. Sometimes there's a keystroke option to bypass the BIOS password prompting you, but a lot of times there's not. If you still cannot bypass that first password screen, please try entering in Toshiba without quotes with a capital T. So that's capital T-O-S-H-I-B-A without quotes. Please only try entering that password once. If it doesn't work, don't try it again as some laptop BIOSes will lock you out completely after three failed password attempts. Yes, some are geared that way. So be very careful because once you lock your BIOS password, <laughs> no bueno muy mal, and with some computers, it's over. You have to, it's, it's very technical. So caveat, try it once. 
If it doesn't work, I wouldn't, unless it's up to you. You basically, on a lot of Toshiba BIOSes, you have three strikes and you're out. <laughs> it's like watching a breads and circuses waste of time baseball game. So it's up to you. This procedure was originally for a Toshiba model number P S as in Sam, A A double A as in my name, Aaron, 5U laptop. These instructions can be applied towards other Toshiba laptops, but not all Toshiba laptops use the exact same BIOS with the exact same procedures, but they might. And then I would try it. I would that password actually unlocked a client of mine's laptop. That's why I wrote this blog post. So it's it's possible. It's worth a shot. But really, I would only try it once. If it fails once, and then make sure you type in that password with the first letter uppercase, the rest of the letters lowercase. And then let me go into other ways of possibly unlocking your BIOS password. Now, sometimes it depends on, this is where you want to use Google and you would Google that laptop model number PSAA5U or whatever laptop model you are using, whether it's a Dell or HP or Lenovo, Asus, whatever, etc. Sometimes you can take out the CMOS battery and that's a... A whole separate video on there's different types of CMOS battery. Some are they look some look like a battery. I mean that's why they're called a CMOS battery. They are batteries, but some literally just slide into a little slot and they look like kind of a coin. They look uh, they're a little. I think they're most of them are smaller than a quarter, but you know somewhere around there, and they just slide in a little slot and then you can take them out. If you have a CMOS battery. You can take out the CMOS battery, unplug the power cable from the laptop, press the power button for, I don't know, 15 to 30 seconds, and then just let your laptop sit there for a while, and then put back the CMOS battery, power it up. That, what that can do is that can reset your CMOS back to factory settings. It might disable the BIOS password. It might. And then, but really, I don't want to talk about BIOS, CMOS, because it's very technical. There's different procedures. Sometimes there's a jumper setting on the motherboard where you enable the jumper, then you take out the battery, then you power on the computer with the battery taken out, but with the jumper setting correct. So, but I just wanted to go over real, real quick that that's a quick one. Take out the CMOS battery or unhook it. Some CMOS batteries are attached to a little power supply, excuse me, a little power cable, and then they plug in to the motherboard, and you just unhook the, that power cable, and then same procedure. You press the power button for, I don't know, 15 to 30 seconds, let it sit there for a couple of minutes, hook up the power cable to the CMOS battery, and then tr power on the computer, and cross your fingers, and hopefully it doesn't prompt you for a BIOS password. But there's no guarantees because some BIOSes are literally hard-coded. Once you set a BIOS password, that's it. Some computers are not that way. So, And then any other tips, that's an option. But fundamentally... This was more geared for a specific Toshiba laptop. If you don't have a Toshiba laptop or these instructions didn't work or you followed these instructions verbatim and it's just no bueno, muy mal, even the Toshiba. That's another thing you could do. Not, I think there might be other Toshiba factory passwords. So you might want to, if you don't have a Toshiba model PSAA5U, because a lot of people don't, I mean, that's only one model of Toshibas and there's, plenty of others, is you want to Google your Toshiba laptop model number exactly the way it's on the label on the underside of the laptop or sometimes it's under the battery or wherever it's labeled. Just do a quick reset BIOS password Toshiba 567895 or whatever your model number is. 
Look into it. There could be a password that might be different, a different factory password or different instructions. So hopefully, overall, this blog post and this YouTube video, hopefully, hopefully it helps you reset your BIOS password. If not, hopefully it gives you some tips so that you can possibly unlock your BIOS password or reset the password or disable the password or use more of a brute force option to bypass your password if you forgot it or if you bought this computer off of Craigslist or eBay or from a friend or a complete stranger and they forgot to tell you, oh, there's a system password, a BIOS password, and you boot it up the first time and look what you see. Enter password and you don't know the password. Wah, 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 wah. You're pretty much screwed unless you know the password or unless you know of a way to bypass the password. But I'm just kind of beating a dead horse now. So anyways, hopefully overall, this YouTube video helps you get on your way to unlocking your BIOS, especially on a Toshiba laptop. So you can always browse to nitcomputers.com for other potential fixes for your most common computer problems. Thank you for listening.